us. All of us are here. I'm a um. I'm a and we get we you. good. Absolutely. I'm gonna Absolutely. tell y'all the biggest secret that I've always did on this podcast. Sometimes you say some shit. I would agree. Why thoughts. you look at me, Tim? I agree 100%, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to make sure I don't sound like a yes man or I'm looking at it from a different perspective, I'm mm-hmm. not going to agree. I can't stand him for that shit. <laughs> I'm on. Okay. Shit. I don't even know He pisses I'm, me off. I'm on purpose. Because I mean, we all can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me be honest. Uh, I only uh, look at Tim for his percentage. <laughs> as long as I get a percentage, hey, yo, I'm just about to say that. I don't care that. if I get 10%. percent on my nerves for that. We are Great Eights Cafe, live and direct on the radio, on the airwaves. I said radio. I'm just trying to establish this new intro, y'all, making everything more cool, calm, collected. But make sure you subscribe, click that bell, and tell me what you think about this episode. In today's episode, we're going to talk about communication. We had a situation uh, <laughs> last weekend where I actually must apologize to everybody in the podcast. Yes, I'm taking accountability because I failed to pass the message to everybody in the podcast members that my nigga TK was supposed to have an episode. Oh. Remember oh. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt. So I have to work on that. You know, it's a lot of people who said I'm not communicating right, and maybe they true. When one more than one person is telling you that the communication factor is failing, at some point you got to sit back and like, damn, wait a minute. It can't be everybody else's fault. It can't be all these other people I talk, you know, talk to. It might be me. So I sit back, think about it, meditate on it. Um, And I think it might be me. So I want us to talk about how we can fix that communication issue and what paths we should take to make sure I can be a better communicator. Because apparently, I guess I'm epically failed, and I apologize about no, no, hey, not because I heard you got niggas though. from you got niggas from Charlotte all the way out, came all the way out, and we oh my nigga, oh yeah, Cal Pesci, everybody know uh, Breeze Weston, uh, uh, hey, everything as far as that, I it was it was both sides because I know I be working now, like I'm like two to eleven now, man. The motherfuckers got me locked in, mm. so the days that I have off, I gotta plan everything around that shit, like and it and it's crazy, like so. I, I remember uh, putting it putting it out that we would me and you had talked, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. about doing the show. And my the the guy that uh, was going to do it, I was going to have a live band, but the gu- guitarist was uh, his grandmother passed, and mm-hmm. she uh, he had to fly to Maine. So that happened, and then in doing so, I said, you know what, I'm gonna keep the show rocking. You know what I'm saying? I just flipped it into the uh, a hip hop. It was going to be just a hip hop set, right? Oh, okay. So I I pulled together some strings, called some called some folks. You know what I'm saying? And they let me know what it was going to be when they was going to be there. So. I felt like that was cool, you know what I'm saying? Right, and right, as long right. as I could, man, look, as long as I could do that, man, as long as I got the power to do that, man, we could do, we can we handle it whenever, right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. It was, I paid, at the end of it, I paid everybody out for their time and we, you know what I'm saying? Business is business, you know what right. I'm saying? We got, we have this. Well, let and me know we, if you need some money because you know, I had a situation. No, because I had a situation, you know, uh, I had a situation where I had, I had a situation who, who where. Derek, uh, Calvin Pesci. Go Pesci. Oh, that's his real name? Yes. Yo, look, man. Shout I got so D. many street niggas. We, all these uh, niggas got, got street names. So I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's my dog. He uh, he was uh, away for, uh, for, I guess, a family up there. So he handled his business up there and told me he was still going to be on the way. And I let him know, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to do it right now. We're just going to line up a better time. And, and in doing so, now I got uh, even more uh, acts that I can bring to the set. Mm. So like, yo, so everything ain't for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I take, right. I take it all as a learning lesson. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, with, but with communication, even I got to be better about that shit. Because mm. I see y'all, te- when y'all talk on the uh, messenger, I don't see that shit till one o'clock in the fucking morning. <laughs> like, yo, I work from two to 11. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? That shit right. is for real. Right. So uh, I got, even me, I got to be more, you know, uh, better about my communication. Mm, so, mm. hey, I appreciate that. I just appreciate that we have this to be able to do something like that. Right, right. And all my people respect it. Facts. Well, let me know. I did have a situation where, um, and I won't name any names, but I had a podcast member who paid somebody for an interview. And anytime 
that somebody need any type of money. Mm. Like, I wasn't finished. But then again, when you look at it from a macro point of view, you really can't. The person who bought this person out, it was a down-to-earth episode. I'm not mad at my podcast member. I'm just saying, if anybody need money to bring, we are supposed to be a team factor. Right. That's how we're supposed to move. You know what right. I mean? And the ways of communicating, y'all, sit down with your people, with you and the team, on how you're moving, on what you're doing. You know? But sometimes you have friends who know you too well, who know that they have to kind of make a move. <laughs> like chess because it's same checkers you know right, what I mean right. so I ain't mad but <laughs> but you know I just I want to make sure that if I'm feeling y'all make sure y'all be transparent it's some, yeah, same, something I same. gotta do as as friends as as podcast mates as human beings I ain't perfect but there's no excuse for me not to translate what's going on if one, one person told me hey we got such and such and I didn't let right, everybody right, know right. you know I thought uh, we were supposed to be I don't know, but performing somewhere else that, you know, I don't know. I but don't even know the whole situation. I'm so glad that episode y'all had went off without a hitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, the right. art uh, art by Nugget, like, that great artist. Like, Shout I wish I could have been there for that. Shout like, out to Nugget. Shout out to Nugget. Straight up. Like, I can't she wait to, to meet that artist. Like, I've been, I've been waiting. So... I mean, I'm and and going forward, you know what I'm saying? I got I got even the acts that want to come uh, do the set. They want to come and do an episode. Mm, so I'm gonna have facts. Breeze Weston. I'm gonna have Fly Tog. A bunch of guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, my um, my homeboys from my uh, time of doing music, Ski Mask Lee, Breeze Davis, okay, all of them. Okay. All of, they want to come show that love. So I, I appreciate this. There, right, there's right, right. nothing you do that don't come with a lesson learned, and I don't take nothing but a lesson from even from a loss, my facts, man. Facts. And that's what we're here for. I just want to say, uh, Tim, if you're failing, I'll be the one to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to call me and be like, Tim, you fucking up. Yeah. You fucking up. And be like, I, ain't, I didn't like that, Tim. I, no, no that's do, not going to work. No, I do I'm feel like I am, playing. though. Like, I had, I had <clears throat> prospects on a podcast told me that they was unaware on how some things happened on the podcast. Correct. So, when I think about it, I'm like, well... I know, I remember what I said. I remember we had the conversation on how it is to become a member of the podcast. Mm. Mm -hmm. But maybe it didn't happen. Let's, let's, you know, I'm the type of person who would question myself sometimes. I'm like, did it? But you know what I feel? I feel like sometimes, no matter uh, what, mm -hmm. as much, you can try to like perfect communication or try to uh, change things based on situations that happen. But I feel like at the same time, sometimes things are meant to happen that way. Exactly. And that's, that's why that's the communication yeah, may have failed. That so part. I don't necessarily look at it as if like, ah, uh, he fucking up or ah, uh, right. TK yeah. fucking up. Right, it's right. more like, nah, like it just wasn't meant to happen in the original way that we thought. You know? mm. Just because like he said, it didn't happen that way. And now other things lined up that Facts. are going to pan out even greater than initially he wanted to do it before. Amen. So I just, I don't, feel like, you know, um, that was a mistake. I mean, me personally, uh, pertaining to the situation with the prospects, I think it's a difference in perception. You know, when, when you yeah. came to me about coming on the podcast, I watch podcasts. Right. <clears throat> okay. So in my mind, I kind of already knew what, what somewhat of what right. it was, what, what the expectation would be to be on podcast. Right. So, like, for example, we had a prospect that hit me up and was like, you know, I didn't know I had to be there. I didn't know I had to, you know, and in my mind, I thought to myself, well, damn, ain't that common sense? Because on podcasts, in order to do podcasts, like, people need to be in the present, on, present <laughs> and on the camera. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right, but right. I watch podcasts. You know, that perception was coming from a person who doesn't mm. generally watch podcasts. Fact. They just saw it and and knew that it was something that they may possibly want to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So in their mind, oh, I don't have to be there every time it's time to record an episode versus in my mind, right. I, I have rearranged my whole life around podcasts. There like, you go. Everybody knows that if I got podcasts, I can't do other things. You right. know, sometimes it's events that's going on. Sometimes it's certain family things that's going on. And, you know, I would like to say, oh, you know, y'all, I can't be there or whatever. But because of how I already said it in my mind from the beginning, 
I have podcasts Friday and Saturday, so don't y'all can't ask me to do anything on these nights because on these it's, nights I'm not available. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's too, too solid, right? That's you, what I'm you saying. Gotta, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. Though. Yeah. You well, yeah, but but sometimes we don't. Some I, I just want to just to be fair of the other person's perception. I was open to the idea that maybe they really didn't understand. You know yeah, yeah. what a commitment, what a, the right. commitment to podcast right. is. You right. know, right. so right. maybe that is something you know forth going that we could say. You know, in order for you to uh, be able to get on podcast, you know, you have to show up. About to show mm-hmm. you, and maybe, you know? and maybe I clearly remember saying that you have to. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm I just love, saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. I always question myself. I, I, yeah. I get what you're coming yeah. from. Yeah. yeah. Just. Just. A, I can see if you can miss one here or there or something like that, but the commitment to the <laughs> don't make sure it's still there. Make sure it's still there. Y'all solidified. So, like, let's say right. if if TK like man, I gotta take a month break. Or Brittany be like, I gotta take a month break. Yeah. Can't be like, look, I, I got some situations coming through. Man, I don't feel like dealing with nobody. I'm on cancel everybody right now. Call me back in 60 days. Bye. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just never know. Like, right. Because you're already a member of the group. You have your own platform. It's, it's equilateral. You know, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, But prospects, yeah, the prospects is a little bit different. Um, But yeah, I, I don't really have any um any shade or, or, or any negative uh, vibes yeah. with people who... Prospect and didn't make it. They didn't make the cut. It's still mad love for y'all. You know what I mean? I think for me, uh, mostly, like, to be real with y'all, man, I, I I felt like I was here for a while. So I kind of, like, most of the time, like, I did. Sometimes I don't make it to the episode, but I've been doing it. Like, I've been on this podcast for so long to the point where, I, you know, most of the time I know what to do be- before I even make a decision on what I'm going to do. Because, like, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and him, if you look at it, we got, it's like seniority. Like, we've been mm-hmm. here. We've right. Been, I done went through training on being on the podcast. So, like, you know, this is when we first was getting stuff really going. I actually so didn't give like, the uh, etiquette. I need to do an etiquette with them. Yeah, time. we didn't do that. Sure. That's that's why, because, but they that's know why, what they're doing, though. That's But why. I always bring it up because, like, it's just like being in class. Like, I, like to be a podcast professor, you know what I'm saying? I had to go through some training. <laughs> but, you know, like, Facts. sometimes the teaching ain't going to always be the same down the road because we already rolled. Mm. You know, it's like trying to jump on a, a damn train that's moving. You can jump on it when it's fucking moving slow, but when that joint get down the, down the tread, down the rail, and it's going 80 and... You ain't jumping yeah. on No, you're not about to sit right here. Oh, let's jump on the train <laughs> Right, nah, right. Nah. Mm. Nah, That's right. Um, well, I, I just want to take a break real quick, man. Shout out my boy Roger Shaw. Uh, cigar juice, juice, man. juice. Hey, we appreciate it. I, I appreciate you so much, my boy. We're gonna do a podcast soon, with my boy. Soon, uh, um, y'all yeah. check out my man, man. All kind of that stuff. He's very God. Sure, he also make mm. a lot of other products too. By the way. Mm. Blackberry Blue lemonade. lemonade. That sounds good. good. Uh, That's blackberry so, lemonade. Mm-hmm. This is blueberry yeah. lemonade. Ooh. Yeah, I just really want to bring this to your attention, man. Roger. I'm already my giving... Dog. I got to give him a higher grade because I see pulp. Yeah, my dog. <laughs> you see this, that this pulp is of the live, juice? Like, made on delivery. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, it's not sitting. And what uh, kind of juices are these, Kev? Like, this like is just... Real, real fruit juice. We need them on the episode because we got to wear more. blackberry lemonade, it's blackberry lemonade. It's not... Uh, nothing extra in it. You know what I'm one saying? is immune bu- uh, booster, uh, right? One, one is immune booster, but it, it actually says it on the label. It's proactive immune booster. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But this is, well, like, he also made healthy juices. Not only does he make juices, but he also made, like, medicine type of juices. Nice. Like, ones mm. that can actually... Physically benefit you. Holistic healing. Holistic healing. So, man, y'all check out Roger, Roger Shaw on Facebook. Right, I'm yeah. actually hey. got one of these open because I actually want to see this. Hey. Don't spill it on that shirt, though. You got to... Shout oh, out... Nah, nah. See, I, I, know, I know how to do this. Shout out to my homeboy, uh, uh, Tayshawn. He here, he, he couldn't get on the episode because he don't have a haircut, but he got a hole in his lip. And so when he started drinking that juice, it went right through the lip. Okay, now I know it's it. real. Black people take that first sip. You got that's questionable. The second one, the second you second let you, one, you know, know what it is. <laughs> right. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of, this one right here, a lot of blueberry, a lot of lemonade. There you go. A lot of blueberry, a lot of lemonade. 
Yeah. Facts, I love facts. my people it, keeping Dr. Shetby's, uh, you know, memory alive, man. Absolutely. They're trying to keep our people going, man. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely, you know, do what I can to uh, uplift that. Mm. Yeah. Watch what you put in your body. Definitely. And let's not forget uh, about um, Gregory. Uh, well, Dick Gregory. Oh, bet. Yeah. yeah Dick Gregory oh, was yeah. uh, extreme oh, holistic facts, healing. Facts. Diet, right. yeah. yeah. Right. He, he had books. He's... He helped doctors. Like, he, he made a big impact on um, holistic healing yeah. through food. He and, said that yeah. he believed in uh, Elijah Muhammad's how to eat to live. You know what I'm exactly. saying? He really, mm. like, that, that's a He lived thing by that. He yeah. was. He even, now, I know this is kind of off the subject, but um, I was watching his documentary mm -hmm. and, um, good you know, documentary. reading his books too. Yeah, the documentary, documentary was really good. But they talked about, like, when he came home from out of town because mm -hmm. he was uh, traveling around the world um, with different doctors, um, giving his recipes of food oh, recipes to help people heal, heal their bodies from illnesses. Mm -hmm. And he came home and um, they had had pizza. His kids and them had ordered pizza at the mm -hmm. house and they said he locked his refrigerator for mm -hmm. a week mm -hmm. and said that nobody could eat if they were going to be eating things that were going to poison their wow. bodies and his family. So he was like super, it meant that much to him. But oh, yeah. if we really understood Especially the power starches. of the foods right. that we put in our bodies, you would, you would not eat a lot of the things that you eat and you would be more mindful of adding more things to your diet to help increase uh, your health. Right. Because every single thing going on in your body mm -hmm. contributes to the, the food. The, every piece of food that you put in your body contributes towards your physical and mental right. and spiritual Energy, health. Everything. Right. Yeah. Metabolic. Oh, Metabolic, yeah. right. So be, if you're constantly pumping your body with foods that are full of toxins, for one, it blocks your pineal gland. And so mm. you can't really see clearly. You can't think clearly. Your Talk third eye it. chakra is right. over or underactive, you mm. know? Most of the time, underactive because it's blocked She's talking about from that third all the toxicity eye. that you're putting <laughs> in your body, right? Mm -hmm. So that the the whole food, like we need to do an episode on this that, episode. Yeah. because I, I hate be that shocked. down to the pains you. in your body, down to, to you, pains man. that right, you feel. Right. Yeah. I, I promise you, it's your diet. If every you read the how, time. To, how to eat the live book, right. Dr. Elijah Muhammad wrote, man, you you would be terrified by the things you put oh, in your body. Peanuts, unbelievably, motherfucker, tear your damn insides up. I had to look at. I can't believe it. Look at what starch that that yeah. carbohydrate of flour. Just peanuts, just and not peanut. just flour, but white, white flour. flour. Because you can buy whole, whole wheat, wheat flour. Right. I buy whole wheat flour, and you can't tell the difference when I make my gravy with whole wheat flour. Right. Nobody mm -hmm. knows that there's been a transition. But the you company know spending more money to actually bleach the flour, and it's cheaper. And then it's I, yeah, and the, the whole wheat flour is more expensive. They eat yeah. dates. That That's because they want dates you to eat the. Too. But they eat dates yeah. during fasting, and that really does something to you. It changes really like. You said the mood, your energy, right. and everything. Yeah. I'll tell you something funny. They give you, they tell you to eat dates when you're in labor. Come on, I didn't know that. Yes. come on. They tell you to eat dates when your when your body is preparing to have a baby. That. It contributes towards your cervical health. Wow. And the opening of your cervix and helping your body mm. pull the push your baby wow. out. So that. when it's time for labor, when I got ready to have my daughter, I was eating dates wow. and I was drinking raspberry tea for like that's great. Six Didn't weeks before I got ready to have her, you right? Know, just my body prepping and preparing itself to get ready to deliver a baby. Mm. And I knew I didn't want to get medicine, right. you know, so. And if y'all don't believe what she just said, look up what fluoride does to the pineal gland and then you start mm. really questioning everything. But back to the subject of this is communication too, because I have an episode of communicating. Mm -hmm. And um, this is just, I realized maybe I have to reflect and make sure I communicate with my podcast members. Um, and just be transparent. If y'all ever have a communication issue, Tayshawn to anybody in the podcast, <laughs> including Israel, he's he's not a member, more like a contractor. Contractors too. Y'all got a much an issue with me or anybody? Hit me up. Let's talk about it. Let's work it out. Let's create the atmosphere of of an open door policy. Already, and, you know. Already, and an exit policy. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, I, that's I had to do some background work, man. I was like. That that day, actually, after we left Nugget House, um, it seemed like a lot of communication was distorted. So I actually tried to take the time and uh, figure a lot of stuff out because, you know, my brother was confused. You know, the podcast crew was confused. Shout out to Pop. You know, we got people coming from out of town. I was I was really like, oh, man. Like, you know, right, 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 right. So, uh, 
I, mean, I kind of try to reach out to everybody and, you know, we try to figure something out. Definitely, but we definitely. probably would be having, um, you know, due to communication being on point now, we might have a Great Apes music episode where instead of us doing actual podcasting, we might be podcasting slash music or right. performance or whatever. Right. That'd be awesome. And just um, put it in that group chat, that personal yeah. group chat that's a part of Great Apes Cafe. But let everybody else besides me see it. Mm -hmm. It's a speaker. And that way, if I forget, because I feel like I forgot to tell everybody what's but going on. With I just want. I just want to say the conversation. I just want to say, in all honesty, man, everybody got you know their own personal lives. Yeah, and um, I feel like not 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 only is it like a mistake, but you know everybody have right. stuff going on. Like you know, people got kids, people got jobs, people yeah. got slow. Um, shit, sometimes money might be tight or, you know... I'm actually happy this problem occurred now. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. when it start being really big when sponsors and monetization oh, happen? Yeah. Right, and that's you what know. I was just about to say. Like, I know y'all keep saying what y'all saying, but I still feel like... I just don't feel like there's mistakes. No. Like, all four of us are consistently manifesting every day. Right. Our thoughts, you know, our thinking... And so when things with our thinking and feeling, so when things start happening, they're yeah. happening because they're aligning with the things that we're manifesting. Right. You know, and that's just the truth. And it's, it's moving right. on one accord through this. It's moving like, on yeah, one yeah, accord. Right, 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 right. So I just don't like I I'm glad that, you know, we're able to resolve and say, hey, you know, let's communicate yeah. better. Let's be more in tune, you know. Yeah. Um, and 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 I even feel like we should spend more time together outside of just podcasts. I'm glad y'all talked you know? about that on the on the uh on the message. I saw that y'all talking about taking uh, a trip. Doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Need, you know, we vacation. need to spend more time together, you know, because we're continuing to move forward and grow right. together. And you know, we want to have healthy relationships with each other. Big fat. Um, so but at the same time, like I said, I still feel like everything happens for a reason. Yes, Lord. I don't feel like it really nobody was... lost their life that day. Yeah, nobody... it just... The unseen didn't happen. We all everything happened the way everything it was supposed flowed. to happen. And and every, right. I, I mean, if I would have knew, if I would have knew D Derek was there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have pulled up over there. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm bad, saying? Because that's really my dog, you yeah. know. Facts, but at, but it just wasn't meant to happen because mm -hmm. we we still end up having a good time that evening yeah. and we're able to decompress and right, right. and and not be under, you know, no extra stress. It just ended up flowing like I think I feel everybody like it was still has stuff. There you go. Everybody still had somewhere to be afterward, though. I know I had to go to a um and I was actually late. Uh, you know, shout out to my cousin Brian, man. Oh yeah, the baby uh, uh, revealing. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I missed the, I missed right. the, I missed the, the, reveal. I missed the gender reveal. Chief. My my cousin, um, my cousin, he actually had a plane go oh by God. and it dropped the pink dust out. You know oh, what I'm saying? I wish I would, I wish I was there to girl. see it. <laughs> that's dope. But it's yeah. like you know that that's why I be saying like you know, as far as communication on that, I was able to tell him that I I wouldn't be there at the time, but. It's like, you know, as far as like what I'm doing and where I'm trying to be at with certain things, you know, even even if the communication is on sometimes, it's not going to always be a satisfying answer. So right. like, if you look at it in however fashion and form, it's like, dang. Y'all just really just showed me how good my hand still is. Nigga, I reached out to everybody and they popped up. Nigga, like, that just, that means something <laughs> to me. Yeah, like, see, like, like everybody shit. got their own I got right, right, right. Still right. what it is, you feel me? And like I said, it got even stronger after that. You know right. what I'm saying? My nigga's like, yo, you should have told me. Shit, I pop up, let me know what day. Bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, right, like like right. you said, everything happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. And even more so than that, Arba Nugget got an interview. Shit. I, yeah. I wish I'd have been there for that, but yeah, that, yo, that shit is dope. I got to talk to her about some, I know. Some music. Oh, I wish I'd have dope. been there. Oh my she god! Fire. Like homegirl could actually do. Me. I love. I, I felt like I was there with my friend. Come on, <laughs> she I could did. make a painting while you yeah. do music. No, nice. and like. By the time you finish the song, done. That's so funny. Yeah, that's, fire. Fire. that's fire. That's oh, fire. I can't yeah. wait to meet you. Y'all, please go check out the art museum on Thursday. I think her, her. I think her biggest thing she said she was doing was, uh, you know, just for a quick reference. I think she said she was going to Alaska. Alaska, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. To yeah. do something great out a there. A mural, and she no, uh, no, actually no. just sold her most expensive piece of art. Come on, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Right. She's yeah, totally dope. Juice. She doing NFTs. If she she got the she, she got doing NFTs. Yes. Yeah, man. She, nice. it's it's hey, you trying is. to double the money up? I feel that was a good episode. 
Mm-hmm. It was definitely Damn, good I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. It was a good weekend. Yeah. Even right, though things right. didn't really happen, like I said, how we or some of us originally planned, you yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? It still ended up being a right. good weekend. It was a damn dope you know? weekend. Hell yeah. Well, we, hey, we actually that same weekend, boy, we went out to goddamn Charlotte, boy. Man, goddamn, look, man. I had to drive <laughs> my niggas home from fucking Charlotte, bro. Damn. Swear to God. Oh, they was bro. faded? No, we, no, we were gone. <laughs> No, yeah. my nigga, we was gone. gone. When I tell you, by the time I got the goddamn uh, uh, Brunswick County, I'm st- I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> fucking forty five. Goddamn, just slow rolling. No, that wait a minute, and driving, wait a nigga. Minute, I'm no self recrimination now. Man, not forty five. <laughs> bro, I was doing forty five in the fifty five. Feeling like an old man 60. with it, like swinging. Oh, <laughs> I could just swing. <laughs> Man, yeah. damn good though weekend, bro. And I appreciate damn Zuli. I appreciate uh, Grando Bands. I appreciate Cal Pesci. I appreciate motherfucking yeah, X Hater. All my y'all, niggas, bro. Man. We're gonna have the communication shit. Gotta, oh, we gonna do, do it. Oh, we gonna do it. It's so it's it's done with. That That's Nugget it. episode was fire though. I like the adversity yeah. that she went through. I could tell she felt some type of way based on the, you know having felonies, and I'm like, what? Yeah, I said, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, she. I'm thinking in my mind like, okay. Mo- you you got felonies, shit. Yeah. I, you rough around the edges. You you are art. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's Absolutely. how you know, that's how I look at no. it. You know? She so. looked like a I hate to say this, but when I was sitting here looking at her, I yeah. felt like I could I wasn't talking that much, but it was because I couldn't stop seeing her aura. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Her aura is so colorful. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then she's sitting there with the glasses on with no lenses in them. Yeah. And oh, that shit, shit and that shit oh, fire oh, as fuck. Oh, like it, but it, it yo, looked I good on her. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God episode. damn, she's sitting here. I didn't know she. It seemed like she's like smart as fuck. She, she is. is. She is so yeah, yeah, it the, it's when, the when she started really, talking, it's the when she started talking, creativity. I loved her work. She, over she there started out in conversation um, slow and then she speed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. yeah, her work was so dope. She got that. that mural that's right there next to the uh, Habitat for Humanity. Right, it's fire too. That that's that's fire. Oh yeah, she also said, um, what was the website? Don't get me to lie. Right. Man, <laughs> we, we put that podcast minister. up. Hopefully, uh, it's, uh, in the, to, it's in the, in it's the, in the link. On okay, the all right. So episode. at the bottom, she, uh, I think on that website, she said that she got like a treasure hunt. So like you can, if you find her art oh, I found around the other time, one. It's on the muffler place or near that muffler place. Don't yeah. tell it, Tim. I said not on it, near. No, there, you there. can't tell. But, uh, <laughs> it's a hunt. Like yeah, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, fifteen places. Trust me. It two, don't matter. You can't yeah, tell crazy. it. You can't find all the places. She got, it's Irwin. You don't know what I can do. <laughs> she got. She okay. got an art hunt. You know, Girl, what I can do? Irwin. That's dope. That's, dope. that's really dope. Scavenger hunt. Art Irwin. Nice, nice. But, uh, back to the communication issue. Mm-hmm. I realized I could take some of the accountability, but if you really want to make sure an episode happen, I have no power. Contrary on popular but. Belief or opinion, I don't. I'm not the H and I C of this podcast. My producer is. Oh, shout That's out to Barbarian. Honestly, if you want to have somebody <laughs> do an episode, <laughs> if you want to have somebody do the episode, that's the nigga you got to talk to. And let me let me tell you something about my producer. Yeah, because if he ain't gonna do it, he if, ain't gonna if do he it. If he ain't gonna do it, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so. When Aaron, that day, I got to I gotta throw my nigga on the bus for a little bit. And Aaron, don't edit this Come out. on. Don't edit this out. <laughs> my nigga Aaron was like, what the fuck? TK wants to do an episode. I got to go work out. I got to go work out. Yeah. I got to go work out. Hey. I told you, everybody yeah, has somewhere to be at. Yeah. He said, he went the last he, minute. Aaron, said, Aaron got a goal. In Aaron defense, first of all, Aaron <laughs> has a goal, goal that he's working towards. That's the virtue. And I support Aaron. A million percent. I got his back. Yeah. So if we need to make adjustments to the <laughs> schedule <laughs> for Aaron to do what he need to do, right. and that's what the fuck we gonna do because I feel the same way about anybody in here. Y'all got it something going like on, on <laughs> If anybody got something going on, I, I feel like all y'all's opi- or, or things that y'all Absolutely. got going on are right. important. Y'all yeah, understand. This nigga was serious. He wait for the fucking last minute. I gotta go work out. <laughs> now, I'm probably over exaggerating probably Just a little, little bit, little, little bit. <laughs> A lot of bit But nah Not even a lot of bit My nigga was like Nah yo, but if you think it. about it though uh, I think Brittany had an appointment at 5 Okay I had yeah, a, I had to be I had to be to the um, Gender reveal I think Tim Had to do something for his, his wife I always mm-hmm. gotta do something. For my and own. and <laughs> we all we always we always at a point of questioning like, dang, do you think 
you know, this is going to be possible. Yeah. Even exactly. though we rearranged time, we had some communication, but it's just like... This one good. I knew the episode was going to happen. Mm. My producer was like, I'm going to go to this damn gym. Mm. When I come out, I'll let you know I'll be ready. And the same way Aaron <laughs> feel about the gym, I feel about my nail appointment. Oh, go. I go. am sorry, y'all. <laughs> we got to work around my shit. Let me shout out to Angie Young Sutton, Angelic mm. Nails. Y'all find her on Book C. She is the very, very, very hey, best. she's shining over here. Okay? okay. It's, it's not many things I'm picky about. So she that good. But my hand, oh, what? I don't know nothing about Bro, nails. Bro, I used to drop every, I listen, listen, I have moved mm. a lot of places and I will drive hours to come back to this girl. Damn. I have went, I have spent hundreds of but dollars. But it takes you one in right? though, don't it? That's, yeah, I don't care. That's the one around. Let me tell you so no fuck that. No, 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 no. Look, Angie, been, you know you my that, boo girl. Yeah. First of all, I'm not knocking you, sis. I've been I went to a no yeah. point. She really said she, she, she came down from what was it, Raleigh? Charlotte. Like Charlotte. I used oh, to Charlotte drive to Raleigh. Charlotte. No, I lived up that way. And oh. I used to come back to her. I lived in Columbia. I came back to her. Oh. Like I when she was in well, Raleigh, I, I take, drove to Raleigh. Right, right, yeah. right, right. I remember time, you I mentioned forgot that. Brittany be speeding, y'all. So Brittany first driving. of all. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, Brittany probably first driving. First of all. Brittany, 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 she said she get a Charlotte. Brittany probably yeah. driving. Two and a half hey, hours. No, no incrimination on the hey, podcast. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Brittany driving back to Charlotte like this the whole time. No. No. And M. No. And M. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. My shit be lit. Okay. Okay, my shit be lit. And guess hey, what? But it know. take like three hours. So? That's a whole King Kong movie. Tim. Original. Tim. My hand. Three hours? My, let me tell you, a lock bath, <laughs> a lock bath is 15 to 20 minutes. Mm. That is 15 to 20 minutes. You talk about, you talk, you talk about locks? Lock bath, okay. like when I do a shampoo. Right. That's 15 to 20 minutes of my hands being in the water. Right. I do that multiple times a week. I only work three days a week, but you know what my schedule would be like. Right, right, right. You right, know right. what I'm saying? So, and, and my assistants, they both, so they're not, not assistants no more. Enough. I don't have an assistant right oh. now. I need an assistant. Right, because they have graduated up and they're locticians and they take taking their own clients. What's the name? Uh, Lisa and Jayla. They're both lock. Yeah, Lisa's master loctician. Jayla's loctician soon, to, very soon to graduate into master loctician. Nice. And so, my sister graduated and you could live through anything if magic made it. At, hmm. Boom. And that's <laughs> it. Angie, I Fact. love you. Fact. So yeah, I did. I, I did. I did. I did flex on y'all. Like, I got a nail appointment. What? I know they too damn hard. <laughs> She just said, I gotta go. I, hey, I, I, I gotta go. Uh, Nugget, can I change my pants um, in this room yeah, right yeah, here? I, do yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. So, she, wait, she got the hey boo hands. <laughs> the hey boo hands. It's her nail hey, so Her technique pre- of nails. It's so, it's so refined that you can wash people's hair and it don't. Yeah, and it don't up. lift. Yes. It don't, okay. hey, don't y'all, lift. Y'all so she held got it down juice. when a nigga she got had to go juice. and handle some real pretty some And, and I just want to say so I I, I've y'all. driven you know to a lot. She'll be on this podcast soon. We just talked about it last week. Okay. That boy said, boy, I that drove nigga to, TK gotta get um, to the hotel. <laughs> hell yeah. I drove yeah. to many places during COVID when she was shut down. Mm. And it's this uh, uh, guy out in Charlotte. I ain't gonna call his name because you know his are. service is trash. And, you know oh. and all these are. people go to him and his services are extremely expensive. And I Damn. went there just on nails. I dropped $225. Oh, nails? And in less than two weeks, my nails was popping and lifting and doing all these strange things that I wasn't used to. And I was pissed, you know, and then I called him back like, yo, my nails lifted. I need an appointment. And then he like, oh, you want a, a fill in? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, you what? You need a full set. I'm like, you just put this set on my hands not even two mm. weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So he want me to take them off and do redo another full set <laughs> so I can drop another amount. 225. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So All it's like, yo. You know you in the moon, right, uh. right. I had, when I, I have been to the best of the best and the best of the best is not the best. Angelic Nails is the best. Uh, come remember Miss Angelic Shout Nails out come to through. You. That need to be a whole woman's episode. I change my work That'd schedule. I change my podcast. I change my mom's schedule to get to my nail. Damn. Advantage. She's like, Absolutely. I got to go. I gotta What's go. the name again? Angie Young Sutton, Angelic oh, man, Nails Angelic. with a J. A-N-J-E-L-L-I-C. You got the juice, sis. Queen. She does. Queen. Mm. And I'll tell y'all something funny. I really did uh, make that clear because she said to me that she watches the podcast. Oh, okay. oh now I'm and she's Right. And she says, you keep your hands <laughs> folded too much. Can you please make sure your nails <laughs> is on the table? We- oh. <laughs> she did that. No, advertisement. Talk about it. <laughs> 
Just make sure you ain't using that picky nick now to be digging up that no. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> My kids know I, That'll look. go with my kids know Real quick oh, You grab no. it real swift And pull it out Don't judge me oh, I can't say that boogie Send the baby no ah. Reason why I say that Y'all be surprised Don't get out of line Driving an 18 wheeler every day You'd be surprised What I see in cars Stuff that I can't even talk about In a Come podcast on. Come on But the most common thing I honestly see Besides the texting Second Is somebody playing with their nose Blowing Digging. So when you drive somebody else's vehicle, when I train, everybody think I'm petty because I'm making sure that stairwell is being wiped down. Yeah, I don't know what you've been petty. doing in your car. Monkey digging. pox. You was just talking about the monkey pox. Monkey pox. You, you know what I mean? That going down. on. And then, you know, I be seeing people, anybody look their nose like that. You got a weird <laughs> nose. Like that. I, my nose, dig, I can't even lift my nose up like that. But what I see when I'm driving is people and they know. Especially in the morning time. I believe the eyes. I believe digging it. Digging them eye boogers out and then they're digging up that nose. That Yo, I love to see the lady riding down the street 8 o'clock in the morning doing 65 miles an hour doing her makeup, makeup. in the fucking mirror. Like, that shit that is crazy. fucking crazy. Shout like, out to y'all. I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how y'all maintain speed, yo. lane integrity. I mean, she that one girl had this <laughs> leg on the steel on her arm. Oh, mascara, Yo. whatever that eyelash going up. I whatever what works, goddamn. Maybelline. <laughs> don't kill nobody out there, goddamn. I don't know what the hell. She just and loves that. She she had that. Uh, what is called? Um, what is called when you pat your bag up? You go to somebody's house. Oh, that overnight bag. Her whole bag. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's her whole bag. bag. Yeah, that overnight. That's the whole overnight. Bag. It's called the whole bag. The whole she bag. had that whole bag. She Every woman should right. keep a bag in their car. By the way. <laughs> I was gonna let you say it. I wasn't gonna say it. First of all, <laughs> I, say I don't it. call that shit a whole bag. I call <laughs> it a clean bag. <laughs> Bitch, you don't know if you need to get somewhere. In you fact, might get stuck. You might have to take a shower. You know right, what I'm saying? You need right. to have that a change ain't just of something. A something. Woman thing. A man yeah. should have. Come a man on now. <laughs> you need to be able they to wash. Have that extra deodorant. It's all about it. They if I had a sweaty day at work so and crazy. I come in like Tim, can I use your shower? You know what I'm saying? Right, like, and I have. I'll be honest. But True. fuck that. Yeah, if I, I need gonna, to take a shower, I, I need to take a shower. I keep the order and toothpaste and toothpaste. Right. Uh, mouthwash. Facts. I mean, you just never know. Like, the, look, this one, our communication is really good, Tim. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Give us some credit. The communication <laughs> be good giving, sometimes. I'm <laughs> giving y'all credit the way it's due. Yeah. And I'm also take, we all should take accountability. We're not all perfect, y'all. Right. And um, I had somebody who asked me, what's your podcast about today? Mm. And I told them it's about everything, and they didn't like my response. So if you see in this episode, the podcast is about a group of people <laughs> who really don't have that much in common, fine commonality in everything that we do, oh, including boy. you. So be more common. Click that bell on the bottom and subscribe <laughs> to and, the podcast. And it's amazing <laughs> when we find the commonality in what the fuck we do oh, we in all yeah. our everyday, right. you know, le- you know, our, yeah, our, make, our everyday I ain't gonna lie, we make it work, man. We, we all do. Do. Oh, oh, for real. This, this on some real talk, like, like a lot of podcasts start up, but they don't. Right. Continue. Not just yeah. that. When I first take Sean, no, take Sean, he, he, Y'all, he's in the audience. He be in a little booth. Shout out there, but to Mr. Ship. He know I had so many... When I first started out, y'all... DJ Barbarian understand. Y'all, y'all know. You look, at, you look at the first few episodes and you look at the episodes now and you compare and contrast. That's just on a podcast level. Mm-hmm. But even behind the scenes, y'all, I feel more connected with y'all than anybody in the podcast so in the past now. So Especially funny. those who... Oh, I show up. I be there. Yep. There are times where we argue you know on this are. motherfucker for real. Oh shit! That and right. I later on, oh, take we know. It, I take it and go <laughs> home with it. Like, damn, wait a minute. They might be right about this. I might have been right about that. But I was damn too forward about the shit. Like, I should have let motherfuckers have they they own say about it and left it alone. My own old lady tell me that shit. Like, yo, why the fuck are you trying to tell these motherfuckers what they what they believe is wrong? Like, I can't I can't do that. And I love the fact that we could talk about it later on. And you know what I'm saying? Come together on it. Like everything everybody right. does is completely different. I love this shit. You Can know what I be saying? honest? I I like it when y'all get like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo, the way she- wait wait I do. I wait. Let me, let me explain. Pause. <laughs> let me I thought I pause. was the antagonist. Hold on. Let pause. Me wait a second. Oh. We communicating for real. For real. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'll tell gotta, you why. First of all, first of all, <laughs> let me explain. 
<laughs> Brittany, where your drink at? We all gotta take a sip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, Lord. God. It's the passion yeah. behind the difference in perception. Yes. Yes. Like Jesus. too many times I'll call Tim and Tim will be like, oh, well, you know, when I said this or, oh, when well, you know, when TK or Kev said this or right. when you said this right. and what I say, Tim, I'll be like, well, I think it's needed. You right. know what I'm right. saying? Like, I right. think it's needed. I think, I like the fact that TK and I, and I'll be open, I like the fact that most of the time TK's perception is completely opposite than mine. Why? Because we got listeners that might agree with what I'm saying, but somebody might agree with what TK Fast. is saying. You know Fast. what I'm saying? Well, I'm never going to take nothing away from you. Right. But it doesn't mean nobody's right or wrong. Right. It's just the difference in perception. I right? love you know? my sister for real. Like, let, let me tell you, like, I, 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 when, when me and Tim talked about it, when me and, uh, we had just got done with Lock Queendom doing that episode, I said, bro, I really think we need a female in this shit. And, and, and that if part. anybody, <laughs> if, if, if it's going to be anybody, let's get B. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is true. Yo, because I expected this. <laughs> yeah. And true. low key, I expected it. Like, yeah. yo, I, 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 I love her energy. I love all that. And that's what's going to keep this shit going. Like, just like she said, somebody right. might not agree with me. And might agree with her. That's mm -hmm. the point of I, life. That's the like, point. Yo, we are not all gonna be on the I same lie, same thing. I'm but tell we, we should all understand each other on a con on a good ground, on a yeah, solid ground absolutely. and foundation. And look, we still come back every week. Right. Most weeks, all of us are here. I'm a um. I'm a and come we clean get we good. Y absolutely. I'm gonna absolutely. tell y'all the biggest secret I've always did on this podcast. Sometimes you say some shit. I would agree. <laughs> Why you look at me, Tim? I agree hundred percent, y'all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But to make sure I don't sound like a yes man or I'm looking at it from a different perspective, I'm mm -hmm. not going to agree. I can't stand him for that shit. <laughs> I'm on. Okay? I only he pisses me off. I'm on purpose. Because like, we all can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. I only, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let me be honest. Hold I only hold look hold at Tim for his percentage. <laughs> as long as I get a percentage, hey, yo, I'm just I swear, I'm just I was about to say that. I don't care if I get 10%. I don't Tim get on my nerves with that shit. I don't know if I did something right. I swear, bro, y'all was striding for percentage. I'm telling you, real talk. I never got the percentage for Tim, and I finally got one. Let me tell you. Tim be on his bullshit, too, because he'll get somebody. Tim be on his bullshit. Tim would be like, I'll give him one trillion percent. And then he don't give you, he don't get the other person. And then, and then, and then, and then, this nigga, excuse me, I don't mean to call you a nigga. We all need him. Like, that'll let you know how she was working for that percent. Me and Tim literally talk talk on the phone for like hours mm -hmm. during the week. Okay? <laughs> being Just being honest. Because yeah. Tim and I are, are both talkers. <laughs> that, that's like truck driving. So Shout he called me driver. and then we talking and it go from one thing to the next thing to the next or whatever. We mm -hmm. we talking for hours on mm -hmm. all kind of shit. <laughs> and then he'll hit me with the, well, I ain't gonna lie, sis. I kind of agree with you, but for podcast sake, I really <laughs> had to disagree with you. Like, what the fuck, Tim? How you gonna tell me that you agree with me, but for podcast sake, you had to disagree with me right there because it can't be... Who? Like, that's... What the fuck? Nigga? You either agree you with why. me or you don't. It, and it's weird that it sound like that. And y'all might be like, well, you're not being true, you're being fake. No, y'all. I just want to make sure that that you get every different perspective. Yes. yes. I, can, I can sit back and like, certain topics, not every topic, but like, let's say if we talk about a topic like drugs, right? Mm -hmm. Um, my argument on drugs. Somebody might say, you know, I think that nobody should do drugs at all, and if you do drugs, you're bad. Right. And I could tell you easily my hundred percent perspective. Yo, you killing me? You can't <laughs> talk about. <y> <laughs> Time out. See, and I heard it, but I wasn't looking. I gotta call. I gotta call my nigga out on this. Now. I'm sorry, because we in the mode of podcast now. <laughs> so shout out to Tayshawn, y'all. Y'all see him soon. He's doing this. Just chilling in front of the pocket. And we better give him his credits in the intro on this, this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this Your picture gonna be in the intro, big bro. <laughs> anyway, pause. But anyway, I don't always want to be like you can't. I can't agree on everybody. I don't want to agree with everybody sometimes. Because, but you're looking at when as everybody talking about some yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm like, damn, we all gotta agree. But for reasons. It depends on what but it is. But for reasons, you're like, looked at as the figure. You know what I'm saying? Like Even though you, you share the you equal. share the you ex, you share the leadership, Shout out but to, you're looked at on a certain level. Just I like, don't like that level shit. I, hey. Shout out to Dave, but Dave said the same damn shit. That's true. I don't like true. that level. We all on the same level. I don't want to ever feel like I, already, I, I you didn't come time, on my podcast. I came on yours. R r okay. You know what I'm saying? But the only the only time we should have I, you would ever see my real highest ego is if I'm on the stage. 
you get uh, if I say I'm the shit on the stage, okay, well I feel like I feel right. like but but we are human here. You know right. what I mean? Like we all right. Like, we all got to and you know, all that. You know, yeah. I want us to be kings and queens on, on the same Already. platform. But I see where you're coming from. Um, I don't like that. I know. <laughs> I and, like I, that. And, and 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 what with what, what great power comes what? Great, great responsibility. responsibility. But right, I don't want to be the captain. We are captains. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that that's that's we real. still need a captain, and Tim is the captain. Okay? <laughs> Every time y'all say captain, I'm thinking about that's captain who I'm planet. looking at for we leadership. Need a captain, you know what I'm saying? Tim is the In this captain. podcast, I do look at at Tim because I because he's the one that that brought me. You know what I'm saying to where I am. You know what I'm saying. Shout out the barbarian too. Like it wouldn't Absolutely. be possible without him. But you gave me the platform when we when we you know did what we did, talked about what we talked about, and I said, right. hey, I'm gonna give it to you for real, like on the street level. And you was like, yo. You, even though you are who you are, you accepted it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, first episode had me. The first episode, when TK first came on here, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. You didn't know I what said, the fuck I was here for. Episode? Right, real talk. This shit, what the fuck going on? But I, I but think I'm, I'm like, yeah. Well, we had some controversy. <laughs> I said, however, I said, nah. I had to think about it, meditate on it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, you know what? Everybody have their truth. I feel like that's something that he had to get off his chest. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so I sat back and I'm like, we watched him redeem himself. You know what I mean? Not necessarily redeem himself because it wasn't a bad episode. No. But the situation was, I'm like, damn, this is his, this is his first episode. Yeah. Compared to everybody else's for first episode, that shit was heavy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, and Yo, it, what and, the but, hell? but it was embraced. But it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't, no, no. It wasn't looked at as I did it something wrong. It was your wrong. truth, though. You know what I'm saying? That was, yeah, that's, yeah. How can I judge you for your truth? Right. Especially when society already did did that. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. That's Who why I don't wear it. I don't wear it on my face. I wear it on my sleeve. Right. Anybody can feel however they want about me. That's that's for you to have. That's right. not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wake up and, and go to sleep by myself. You know what right. I'm saying? On my own. Right. So I respect that, but that's what that's what makes this so good. Right. Because you don't look at a street nigga like me and be like, all right, this nigga can't talk about nothing. No, no. Motherfucker, I'm intellectual. I had a poem no, no, published no, no, no. in goddamn library in, uh, in, the, in the national library. And don't library nobody of know the law like TK. No, <laughs> hey, I had a poem published. Part. In the in the National <laughs> Library of Congress when I was in the fifth grade. I don't take that shit and, and look at it like I look at shit. I, did, I look at everything. I look outside the box. I look outside myself and right. I see people for what they are. Good people. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like no matter what your walk of life is, no matter how you live it, I chose to be the person I am, unlike some people. Right. Some people let their product of their right. environment cho uh, you know, choose them. Right. And I appreciate that bond y'all so y'all, y'all, you know, gave me. Right. That's my, some real shit. Facts. My uh my friend Tayshawn, who couldn't make the episode with me to talk about juice, man, you just gotta wait. That nigga gonna have an intro. Talk, you gonna that talk, nigga you gonna have an intro. You gonna be in the credits. He said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we ain't changing topic. We still we still talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to tell me what to do, Tayshawn? And your monkey ass ain't on the podcast. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Please <laughs> like, subscribe, share. But yeah, what I'm getting at is we. My problem, and, and shout out to Jamal. You haven't met Jamal yet. He's okay. uh, he's a member of Barbarian Click. Y'all don't, don't even probably even know what, who Barbarian Click is. I'll tell you that later. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> he said my problem uh, is I see, I, I don't see differences. I don't care if you're a street nigga. I don't care if you're a crackhead. Well, maybe I do. But what I'm getting at is <laughs> I don't want you to do no crack. You know what I mean? That part. Right. But we all, I want to, I look at the humanity in everybody. Everybody's everything you ever got in trouble for or ever did, everybody at the table is capable of doing the same thing. Damn right. That's that part. And and what makes it worse, some people may identify themselves as the street nigga, but a, another person may have some more dark secrets in the closet that can't be talked about nice. that can make them a street nigga. It's yeah. all about how you show the world who you are. Or rather, who you really are. You know, you don't have to show the world your your you got demons in the closet or skeletons in the closet or you want some Eminem cleaning out your closet type shit. You know what I mean? Um, we are human here, and that's the most important thing. That's why I love this podcast and I have Facts. the highest respect I love for this fucking podcast, yo. Um, Word up. You know, um, all of y'all sometimes get on my nerves. I like that too. Though. <laughs> I Very actually true. like. <laughs> we can rub each other raw. <laughs> I like that we though. can rub each other raw, but Very it's all true. in love. It's it all in love. It's all in love. You know what I'm saying? Really? <laughs> 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 
No, I my mean, producer that's, that's... get on my nerves most because we bump heads all the time. Yeah. Me, me and my producer. I would be amiss if I said, motherfucker, I don't care how Britney's week is going. That's a goddamn lie. Mm. I'd be wrong if I said, I don't give a fuck if Tim is going through something or not. That's a goddamn lie. I love these motherfuckers. I love everybody here for the reasons that they're here. Facts. That's On it. times when we miss episodes, I'm like, like the, when I first started this podcast, I'm I missing a week. You know, I don't give a fuck. Blah, blah, blah. But now it's like, damn. My producer laughing because I do be on that. Look, look, look. <laughs> I, if I got to work on something, I'm like, oh, you know, I got to work on something. Right, but now, yeah. now right. I'm at the point where it's like, damn. Now I got, I caught feelings for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Damn, I miss everybody. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's the same concept. Well, you told me you was going on a hiatus, my nigga. What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I say to you? What the fuck? Look, we we had look, we have recorded so many episodes in a couple of weeks that time, and then we skipped a week, and I didn't see y'all for like two weeks, and I was like, God damn, I'm missing something. That's how you feel. I miss y'all. Like damn, everybody in the group chat like, yo, what's up? It's so fast. I ain't gonna lie. After that, that was the last time I actually skipped. I was like, I felt. I felt something was missing. I said, Y'all, us, down. each I said, other. I said, what, tell, tell what I say. I don't give a damn what you do, goddamn. Go on vacation or something, nigga. We going to have a podcast this weekend, bro. I don't care what you I got going on. It's, it is really, But I love really, my brother. I would, I would want to make sure your mental is clear. Absolutely. For you. I actually, I hate, I, 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 I ain't going to say I hate it. There's a danger factor there. Mm-hmm. Because when you, when it's something is therapeutic and you take that away. Now right. I'm in a situation where it's like, right. damn, I like the podcast. I like everybody on the podcast. But there's a situation. Suppose it fe- suppose my producer kicked me off. He's like, Dude, we ain't doing a podcast. <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> you know, you you know, it's a possibility. Yeah. It's not it's not like uh let's be real. Let's can we be real, y'all? Ain't Talk like we, about it. Ain't like we on the contractual agreement to do right? a podcast. True episode. indeed. So any anybody, Brittany's like, you know what? We sta- she may meditate one day, but like we stagnant. I can't fuck with y'all no more. You know, I might <laughs> meditate one day and be like, I'm grimy. <laughs> Then you go you laugh, know, kid. Like, <laughs> nah, because you know, you're talking about uh, 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 Aaron one day maybe like, on, you know what? On, I'm getting tired of editing, and y'all niggas take me for granted. Fuck right. everybody. We we ain't doing this shit. No talking about you know, hey, TK may be like, about. you know, forget all of y'all. Y'all ain't even gangster. I ain't about that life. Fuck everybody. I don't know. I'm really, I'm I can see you. Take I can see you like, meditating. You know, talking you about we stagnant. You on the podcast <laughs> and you kicking people off. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like for all reasons, you know. For all personal and reasons. And I hate that, though. I really, really don't. The dislike of but, something is when you have that and somebody can take that but even, from you. Even, That's powerful, though. Think about where I'm coming from. One yeah. Time. I don't like that. I want to say but something since we're, we're open and we're being honest in this Microphone moment. Microphone check. We're being honest in this moment. It's me saying what I said. I don't take nothing away from it. And I want to be wanted to be known that if there was ever a feeling or any kind of any anim- animosity, period, for anybody here, I just want to look people in the eye and say, I respect every one of y'all. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what the fuck it said when I leave the room. Mm-hmm. That's just who I am. Right. But I love every one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I will, I will ride in the middle of the night right. for everybody in this room. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I don't ask you to feel the same about me. Please don't. Just really genuinely treat me how you would from your real heart. Mm-hmm. Don't give me nothing. Can I, not can I respond nothing. to that? Do y'all mind? I feel like the person I disagree the most with on the podcast <laughs> is you. <laughs> yeah. we, I, that's because y'all, uh, everything y'all do is out awesome. of love. Out Let of me, love. I just want to be transparent. Yeah. How much for sin? <laughs> <laughs> Probably like <laughs> if I think about it, it, it's not it's probably like 65% Damn. of the time. Okay. You know, okay. just to be fair. But I have never, wait a minute, just, just I'm just <laughs> this is a transparent moment. Yes, please, please. I disagree with TK like 65% of the time. That's and that's not that bad. No, that's no. Good. You know no, what I'm saying? No, not at all. But just to be clear. Even when we disagree when I leave, I have never left and said, oh, I can't stand that motherfucker because his perception is different right. than mine. You know, Respectfully. every single time that Tim has called me or I called Tim and we're, we're recapping on the podcast, what I say every time. Nah, well, I ain't agree with what he said, but I feel like his perception is needed. Right. right. That is I, true. Every single time. So it don't Thank matter. You, it doesn't matter if we agree or disagree. Mm-hmm. Like, what TK human? has came in here on some demon time once. I mean, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it, it happens. Time. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens. It was faded. 
I'm drinking a little bit of alcohol. I'm just, right. Right. Yo, 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 it's all good. Like, hey, I'm, I am, I am, I used to be a, a divine masculine. And I know that sounds crazy. I can but, feel that. But there from was at you, one bro. point always, where yeah. in most of my life I was a divine masculine yeah. because I was not in tune with my emotions, right? Mm. So even though now my perception may not agree with some of the things that you say, yeah. I don't get offended or mm. I don't, it doesn't move me in, in a negative way because at okay. one point I thought in the same perception right. because you are a, a divine masculine and I and I am now more in my feminine that than I was so before. That brings so much light to Right, me. right. Yeah. So it's not that it's a horrible disagreement when we're right. not on the same page. Right, it's right. like, no. Your lifestyle changed. My lifestyle changed. Right. The way I think changed. Right. You know, and I am very... And I respect that though, and, and I'm And talk. I'm more proud to be in my divine feminine yeah. and I'm also and proud... And my could change in the next five years. I'm it, not it happens all... It could change in the next the five fucking thing. minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody could say something and trigger a thought or whatever and your Thanks. whole perception changed just off of what somebody else said. Everybody I'm grateful. Yeah, so it's not... It's not a thing. This is a family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I right. look at this. I don't is. leave here without something from y'all. Right. I don't so leave here without no, something no from No matter everybody. what we disagree on, I'm <laughs> never leaving this motherfucker like, I can't stand that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's never the case. You know, it's like, nah, we disagree. But I'm open to his yeah. perception. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She'll tell or, you though. Know, say, hey, if I the moment I knew I she fucked up. Hey, no what? Well, no, no, no. Wait, Just wait. Look at her face. Hold on, Tim. Tim, what did I say? What look did I say? The Just moment, the, the moment I felt like I could, I fucked up or something. In the, I tried to rectify. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I tried absolutely. to reach out and let you know it's all love. Like, yo, I was. Even my old lady said, "Nigga, you tripping? You, you can't make." But what did feel I tell you? you but what did I tell you? Hey, I'm good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Like. I, I felt bad because I thought that I made you feel some type of way. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, no, I, I don't mean to make you feel no type of way. I want you to be okay with me disagreeing with you. Facts. Mm, facts. You know what I'm saying, facts. Kev? I want you to be okay with me disagreeing with you. Tim, I want you to be okay to disagreeing with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to agree on every perception that you think because I have lived a totally different facts. life right. yes. than you. So my experience is different, you know, right. and it doesn't make my experience more valuable. And you don't realize this. I admire you. Like, I really look I admire at you. all of y'all. No, no, I yeah. look at you, you know, for the business that you push, everything like that. Like, your independence, I really Thank admire you, that. Like, that pushes, it pushes me if you don't, if you know it or not. It does, like, because... I didn't, but thank I live you. in a, I, like how we were talking about last week with the businesses and stuff. I did that shit illegitimately knowing I did it illegitimately. Mm. But the way she explained things, you being in my situation, you tell Telling me about your situations, I was like, "Yo, I could do the same shit. I can get my shit together to the point where I don't need to work for these other motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. I don't need you to. Don't. You know what I'm saying? You really don't. I could, I could do everything myself, and I applaud you for that. So Come I up with really, business plan. I, 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 I commend you. you for that. Right. Come up with and that's needed. Plan. It was definitely needed. And I'm glad that was a choice that we, but we all made together. Like, exactly. it's actually he was the first one who actually threw it up. Yeah, that's the funny part. It's like. We should put we should put Miss Brittany up on there. Right. I said I only yeah. had to ask. Pause. Her. Did you call me Miss Brittany? Did I say Miss Brittany? <laughs> I, I, think she I don't remember in the tent. I don't remember in the tent. He did say Miss Brittany now. I, See, look, maybe they disagree now. Look, maybe they disagree re now. You right? Right. You're about to what go the fuck? <laughs> you about to start something up? <laughs> right. I know I'm the oldest <laughs> person on the podcast, <laughs> but damn. Miss Brittany on there. I thought about I said her in. I sure did. No, no. I said her in would fit. I, I look at her like a sister, not an auntie. Don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Y'all giving me real bad auntie all, vibes over all, here. Okay. Nobody should talk about any mannerism. <laughs> I was on the phone today with Miss Brittany, and she said, yes. ma'am, five times. Yes, ma'am. How about Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He said, you said ma'am, one more time. <laughs> Yo. First of all, <laughs> damn. Somebody got on me for doing the same thing. Too but many, I many. can't help it. I can't help I said, it. That's a massive. Might as well hell. Yeah, I can't help it. It's country. Yeah. My grandma raised me. Anyway. I say yes, sir, to my kids. <laughs> I, I swear to God. I do. Yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Can I help you? Right, right. Yeah, because I expect them to say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mannerism is Yes. And that's where really a lot of that come from. Um, I, I used to speak terribly. 
Well, mm. first of all, growing up in school, I was always the, I, I was spelling B champ multiple times. Okay. I had all kinds yeah. of awards and I was very uh, intellectual with my speaking and my words. And it, But I, I, I didn't actually speak that way. I just knew oh, how wow. to. to get right? out. So I knew how to get in front of people and speak how I needed to. And then because my father was Panamanian and his first language was Spanish. Fact. So Fact. we had slang in Spanish and we had mm. slang in English. Mm. So my language was completely uh, mixed it's up. Broken. It was, re- yeah, right. very broken. It's Even sometimes now, I'll be speaking to you in English and then throw out a word in Spanish, right. not even <laughs> thinking about <laughs> it, you thinking. know, but it just flows like that, right? So as I got older, you know, I kind of broke down my language or whatever. But when I started having kids, mm. because I wanted them to speak a certain way, then I started to change, you know, my mannerism and the way that I was speaking. I speak to them that That's way amazing, right? because I want them to speak to me and other people, right? you know, that way. Yeah. So just to explain like the yes, ma'am, the yes, sir, the no, sir, the whatever. And, and yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. on that. Oh, wait a minute. So we almost out of time, y'all. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. I hope that you like, subscribe, yes, share. Lord. Will you say what makes about battery time? Okay, well, oh, listen. We have one minute. We have one minute. Okay. I'm one of the most mannerish gangsters you'll ever meet in the port. Like, if you really say my name in the port, motherfuckers will be like, yo, that's a respectful stand up nigga. Because mm-hmm. I'm mannerish to, even if right. I, I'm not on the same side as you, I'm still going to show you the respect I'm, that I'm you gonna deserve. Up, I'm going to end it with this. Like, subscribe, share. Quit asking what's in my cup. I get tired of people <laughs> asking me, am I always drinking? Am I alcoholic? Always drinking on the podcast. I'm not always drinking on the podcast. If you got a problem, you know big my number. Busy, call big me. Busy. Hit me up. Leave a comment. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Great appreciation to people entertainment. And yes, success. Lord. This is Great Apes Cafe. I ran out of battery time. Hey, I don't give a damn about none of that. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Beat. I was about to say, Beat. I'm not out of battery time. She left her on her